All right, we're in studio talking with Chandler Godchild Bailey. What's going on, man? How you doing, Tony? How you doing, man? I don't know, man. Just trying to make it on another afternoon for a Christian journey. I know that's right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Tell on, everybody man. about uh, Chandler, man. Tell Who is Chandler Bailey, first of all? Let's uh, talk about that before we even get to Godchild. Okay, Chandler Bailey is basically a young man who I'm passionate, like, so much um, about spreading the gospel in various different ways, as well as I'm a husband. Just to keep it simple, I'm a father. And I'm just a young man who likes to have fun, like do good things, and like to rap for Jesus. That's what I love to do. So, so. how did we come to God Child? Tell us about that. Uh, God Child. Well, that or well, a little bit of my testimony. You know, um, back in like school and when I was younger, I was called Caesar, and um, I basically am a prodigal son. My dad is a pastor here in, here in the local right. area, whatnot. Right. And when I came back to God, I came back to the things of God. I, I had I used to have to remind myself that I was a child of God because I felt like so many people in the church knew how bad I was. Mm -hmm. So I used to remind myself that I was, I'm man, you are a child of God, you are a child of God. And basically when I started rapping in my youth group and started rapping for the Lord, I was like, okay, well, man, God, you have solidified that I'm your, I'm your child, you care about me, and you love me no matter what I've done, and therefore the name came God Child. That's how it came. I got you. Well, That's speaking her. of being a Christian artist now, you know, some people start tripping because they think that you're supposed to be up here instead of along with them as far as just being human. Talk uh -huh. about that a little bit. You know, when, when people just have a hard time with artists being human. Man, artists being human. I mean, uh, I don't know what you mean. Like as far as like, I feel like a lot of times they, they differentiate the situation when it comes to their their integrity walk. Uh, as far as like, like when an artist makes a mistake, for example, if you're married and you make a mistake, right. as far as you know, infidelity or whatever. Right. Um, I really believe that if every Christian has the standards of the Bible, if somebody makes a mistake, you will hold those values true, regardless whether they are artists, whether or whether they're. A politician. Yeah. At the end of the, end of the ideal, if you're claiming to be a Christian person, we all have the same standards. I don't believe that. I don't believe that when it comes to like the big scheme of things, somebody else's mistake is worse than mine or worse than a regular person's. But I do believe, based upon whatever statue of life you're in, mm -hmm. that it can cause more. It can cause more of an impact because you're a person of influence. Yeah. So, you know, so I understand. I understand where people come from in that right. area. Right. Chandler from Godtown Bailey is hanging out with us on today. And uh, now you've got a brand new addition to the family, right? Yes, Tell I everybody do. about that. How exciting is that? Because this is like brand new. Yes. He is brand new. He is brand new. I was shocked. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my brand new addition, Chandler Righteous Bailey. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Righteous yes, Bailey. Yes, sir. Okay. <laughs> Chandler Righteous Bailey. That sound like a uh, that sound like a, a preempt to a poor pastor right there. Oh man, Chandler Righteous Bailey. Yes, and we're calling him Righteous until he gets old enough to want to be called Chandler. I want him to, if he wants to be called my name, he can tell people that. I got you. Okay, so that's that's pretty cool. Me and the wife, you calling him Righteous. Um, new addition is lovely. Um, still getting used to the schedule, balancing everything out. As far as waking up a lot earlier in the morning, if I'm trying to do something, I got to plan it out a lot right. more. Yeah. But I got a lot of help with my team members and friends, so we're, we're good to go. We're I got you. Go. Let's give some advice to some young men who are trying to be uh, do the Christian thing right now, because I know that's hard for oh, young people yes, sir. and uh, all the reasons why they shouldn't, but uh, tell them why. What's a, what's a good way to go about doing that? If you're trying, if you're if you're young right now, you know, we already know, I, I'm 24 years old, so I'm, I'm guessing my generation is known to live a reckless, crazy lifestyle. We're all about reality television. We're all about going crazy mm -hmm. um, and partying and whatnot. Um, if you're really trying to live live a righteous lifestyle, I really believe it's going to take more what you do behind closed doors as far as getting your heart ready and get your mind mind ready. As far as like behind the scenes serving the Lord at your own home or in your own apartment or in your own dorm room, wherever you are, I believe it's going to take you getting in the Word of God, getting to know God for yourself, as well as corporately being a part of a church and, and uh, actually being part of a whole church where you can increase and grow in your faith. That's what yeah. it's going to take. It's yeah. going to take a little bit of both. Yeah, absolutely. We want to come back to that because I, I got a real good question for you. Yes, sir. Off script. Okay. But uh, 